Hello friends, welcome to Club Craft Area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful country cottage stitch hat. For this, we are using yarn, crochet hook, cutter and a needle. For this project, I am using 4mm crochet hook. This hat is very easy to do. It is done for 3 to 10 years. So the crown width, it comes around 6 inches. The height of the hat, it comes around 8.5 inches, including the brim. The circumference of the hat, it comes around 8.2 inches. The country cottage stitch looks very beautiful. To do this beautiful stitch, we want to know the basic stitch like magic circle, double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet and slip stitch. This hat is done from top to bottom. First, we'll do the crown, then the body part and then the brim. So now let's see how to do this beautiful penny using country cottage stitch. Start with magic circle. Chain 1. So this is the magic circle. Next we are going to work inside this magic circle. We are going to do 12 double crochet inside this circle. Yarn over. Insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over. Pull through the loop. You will have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over. Pull through first 2 loops. You will have two loops on the hook. You know, pull through next two loops. This is what we say it is double crochet. Likewise, you are going to do 11 more double crochet inside the circle. Totally, you should have 12 double crochet. You know, over. Insert the hook in the loop. You know, over. Pull through the loop. You will have three loops on the hook. You know, over. Pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. You know, over. Pull through next two loops. Two. Three. You can pull this yarn to adjust the circle. 4, 5. So after doing 12 double crochet inside the circle, it looks like this. Next, you can pull this yarn to close the circle and finish this round by doing a slip stitch in this first double crochet. Insert the hook in the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop and pull through the other loop. After doing them, it looks like this. For next round, do chain 1, do 2 double crochet in the same stitch. 1, Two. Next stitch, two double crochet. One, two. Likewise, you are going to do two double crochet in each stitch around till you reach this end. After doing them, it looks like this. You can complete this round by doing a slip stitch in this first double crochet. So that is an increase of 12 double crochet. For next round, do chain one, do two double crochet in the same stitch. One, 2 and 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Next stitch 2 double crochet. 1, 2, next stitch 1 double crochet. So this will be the pattern which you are going to follow for this row by doing 2 double crochet in the next stitch. 1, 2 and 1 double crochet in the next stitch. You have to follow this till you reach the last stitch. At the end of this round, you will be having 36 double crochet stitches. So by following the same pattern of increasing 12 double crochet stitches in each round, you have to do them till the required crown width you want. For this hat, the crown width should be 5.5 to 6 inches. So for next round, we will be doing 2 double crochet in 1 stitch and double crochet in each stitch for 2 stitches. Next round, 2 double crochet in 1 stitch and double crochet in each stitch for 3 stitches till the required crown width. After doing them till the required size, it looks like this. If you see here, the crown width is 6 inches. From next round, we are going to follow the pattern of country cottage stitch. For that, do chain 1, do a double crochet in the same stitch, double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch likewise you are going to do double crochet in each stitch till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch after doing double crochet in each stitch it looks like this for next round to chain one you're going to do a front post double crochet in this first stitch at that time you'll be taking this chain one also so we are going to work on the post and not on the stitch so front post double crochet yarn over Insert the hook from front to back, back to front, yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from front to back, back to front, 
will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through next two loops. This is what we say it as front post double crochet. Next stitch double crochet that we are going to work on the stitch. Next stitch front post double crochet. Yarn over. Insert the hook from front to back. Back to front. Yarn over. Pull the hook and the yarn from front to back. Back to front. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through next two loops. Next stitch double crochet. So it looks like this. This is the pattern which you are going to follow for this row by doing front post double crochet on the next stitch and double crochet on the next stitch. Next stitch front post double crochet. Next stitch double crochet. Have to follow them till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch. After completing the round, it looks like this. For next round, do chain one. So in this front post double crochet, you are going to do a double crochet. And in this double crochet, you are going to do front post double crochet. So next stitch is a front post double crochet. So we'll do a double crochet. Next stitch was the double crochet. So we'll do front post double crochet. So this is the pattern which you are going to follow for this round by doing double crochet on the top of the front post double crochet and a front post double crochet on the double crochet. Double crochet on the top of front post double crochet and front post double crochet on the double crochet. So till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch. After doing them, it looks like this for next round. Do chain one. The first is a double crochet stitch. So we are going to do a front post double crochet. Next stitch is a front post double crochet. So we are going to do a double crochet on the top of it. Next is a double crochet stitch. So we'll do a front post double crochet. And next is a front post double crochet. So we'll do a double crochet on the top of it. So it looks like this. We have to follow this till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch. So by following this pattern, you have to do them till the required height of the hat you want. So that is in this round, we are doing double crochet on the top of the front post double crochet and then front post double crochet on the double crochet. Next is a front post double crochet. So we'll do a double crochet on the top of the front post double crochet. Next is a double crochet. So we'll do a front post double crochet. On the double crochet. So for next round if you see it is a front post double crochet so we'll do a double crochet on the top of it. Next is the double crochet so we'll do a front post double crochet and this is the front post double crochet so we'll do a double crochet on the top of it and this is the double crochet we'll do a front post double crochet. So follow this pattern till the required height of the hat you want. After doing them till the required height it looks like this. See here the height comes around 6.5 inches. Next we are going to do the rim for this hat. So for next round chain 1. Do double crochet in the first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. So likewise you are going to do double crochet in each stitch around till you reach the stitch mark. After doing double crochet in each stitch it looks like this. For next round, do chain 1. You are going to do front post double crochet in this first stitch. Next stitch, back post double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from back to front, front to back. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from back to front, front to back. You will have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first 2 loops. You will have 2 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next 2 loops. So this is what we say it is back post double crochet. So we have to follow this pattern for this round by doing front post double crochet in the first stitch and back post double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook from back to front, front to back, yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from back to front, front to back. You will have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through first two loops, you will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through next two loops. 
so it looks like this you have to follow them till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch after doing them it looks like this for next round do chain one do a front pose on the front pose double crochet and back pose on the back pose double crochet front pose on the front pose double crochet back pose on the back pose double crochet so this will be the pattern which you are going to follow for this round by doing front pose double crochet on the front pose double crochet and back pose double crochet on the back pose double crochet till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch by following the same pattern you can do them for three to four inches so that width of the brim it depends upon our wish after doing them it looks like this so if you see here i have done the brim for three inches do chain one and slip off this yarn so next you can weave the end hat using country cottage stitch looks like this if you like this video like share command this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos thank you friends